Thomas, Astrosai Thomas, I'm sure you all would agree, are the most frequently almost with variable biology. In adults, the most common types are graded as two, three, or four. But in kids, many are grade one. It's the high grade kinds we deplore. IDH mutant tumors are much better prognostically. With slow growth, yet ultimately high grade transformation radiologically. IDH wild type glioblastoma or GBM is the most malignant brain tumor of older adult patients, a challenge that overwhelms. In adults, astrocytomas are most often fibrillary. They infiltrate diffusely through the centrum semial valley. By MRI or on a CT, there's midline shifts in asymmetry. Rim enhancement is a perilous sign of glioblastoma most commonly. IDH mutant tumors are much better prognostically. With slow growth, yet ultimately high grade transformation radiologically. IDH wild type glioblastoma or GBM is the most malignant brain tumor of older adult patients, a challenge that overwhelms. Along with mutant IDH protein, loss of ATR staining is key. With most TP53 gene mutations causing immunoreactivity. GBM show a third P mutation, chromosome plus 7 and minus 10. With EGFR amplification, the third molecular criterion. IDH mutant tumors are much better prognostically. With slow growth and ultimately high grade transformation, radiologically. IDH wild type glioblastoma or GBM is the most malignant brain tumor of older adult patients, a challenge that overwhelms. In children, benign diffuse gliomas involve the MIB L1 or MYB genes, or this MAP kinase pathway disruptions involving one of its many proteins. But pediatric high-grade gliomas often mutate genes that code histone 3. Diffuse midline or hemispheric gliomas comprise the worst malignant tumors we see. IDH mutant tumors are much better prognostically. With slow growth yet ultimately high-grade transformation radiologically. IDH wild type glioblastoma or GBM is the most malignant brain tumor of older adult patients, a challenge that overwhelms.